Welcome to the lesson that will demonstrate how to record your story using Audacity. So go ahead and you're going to open up your story by logging into Google. Go ahead and go to your drive, open up that classroom folder, and open up the folder that has your story. I'm going to open up Switch Zoo, and this is my completed story that I will be recording. So go to the bottom left corner of your window and choose the Start menu all programs and you're going to locate Audacity. If you can't find it, you can start typing in AUD and it will pop up. What you want to do is when you start recording, you want to test it to make sure that it works. So if you're ready to read your story and you click the red button to record, if it's a straight line, something is wrong. But as you can see, it's not a straight line, so it should be working. You would want to hit rewind and play it to be sure that you can understand your story. I will go ahead and click on the X to delete that. And what I'll do is I'll make this window a little smaller. I want to make it so that I can see my story and the Audacity window. By rearranging the windows, I can see both windows. You would click the record button once you know that the Audacity is working. Once you click on it, you can start reading your story. This unique and very interesting animal is known as, and I would continue reading the story. Once you're done recording your story, click on the orange button to stop the process. The next step is going to show you how to clean up any imperfections. If you have done such a terrible job with the recording, I recommend you close it and re-record the story to get it right. To clean up your story, you would click the rewind button and start playing the story. So after listening to it, let's say for example you listen to this, I recommend you play it by clicking on the green button and that was breathing. So I would click on the delete key of the keyboard to get rid of it. I would continue to play it until I come across breathing or imperfections. After listening to the beginning part of the story, I came across this, which is breathing. Again, before you click on the delete key, make sure you hit the play button to make sure it isn't your voice. So I would delete that. I would continue to listen to my story and delete anything that is bad. Often, once I delete something on my story, I will go a little to the left and replay it to make sure I didn't delete too much. Again, here's some breathing. I will play it to make sure and then delete it when I'm sure it's bad. Rewind a little and play. I will continue cleaning up my story and then show you how to save this in order to add it to your Vokey. I did want to point out that if you need a closer view of your audio, you can click on the magnifying glass with the plus sign to zoom in. You can also zoom out by clicking the magnifying glass with the minus sign. That's just a little tip you might need to use. Because this story will be uploaded to Vokey, it cannot be longer than 90 seconds. Right now my story is over 90 seconds because at 130 is 90 seconds. So I'm going to do a little trick. I'm going to do Control A to select all. I'm going to go to Effect and change speed. So if I drag that little cursor a little to the right, it will actually speed up my audio, which will make it fewer seconds. So before I click OK, I'm going to preview it. Okay. If I went too far, I would have to bring it over to the left a little. But I actually think it sounds good. I will click OK. And let's see how many seconds we got it down to. So it's under 1 minute 30 seconds, which is good. Again, I can't stress enough. Make sure that you don't change it so much that the story cannot be understood. Many students will change it and it sounds like a chipmunk. Once you're done, you would choose File, Export. Make sure it says MP3 for the Save as Type. Get it to that Computer Class Desktop folder. Switch Zoo and you can leave it as story and click save. When this window pops up, click OK, and the story is now rendered and ready to be added to Evokey. This concludes the session on how to record your story in Audacity. Until next time, you have a wonderful day.